I've assembled the car. I'll take it apart again in a minute so we can see what's inside. But we do now have the indicators working. So that's our right indicator. Left indicator. Turn it around. Right indicator. Left indicator. And reversing lights. <laughs> I've actually turned off the headlights and tail lights at the moment just so we can see the other lights easily because with the uh, with the headlights and tail lights on they're not quite so clear. So that's it for now. Don't think I'll do any more to it. Um, I'll just take it apart and show it to you. Inside what we got is the indicator lights are these green wires that I've soldered directly on here. That's just the other end of the two wires that go to the steering motor. So they're on there and they go to my circuit board that I just hot glued in the back here. I was looking to change it but in the end I found some LEDs that were brighter anyway. So the LEDs we've got in there now, if I can find my controller, are relatively bright. Uh, let's have a look again. So they're not too bad. They could probably do with being brighter again, but they're good enough for demonstration purposes. So that's my circuit board that I built the other day. And then I've drilled holes in the relative positions for the indicator lights. And then the reversing light, that goes to the wires that I did have going to the headlight and tail light. So Every time it goes in reverse, I just lift the back up so we don't shoot off the table. We've got nice bright reversing lights. And those I've actually put on a plug and socket so I can disconnect them. What I intend to do with the plug and socket that goes to the headlights so I will actually wire them straight off the power so they're permanently on and put a switch in the bottom of the body here so I can switch it on and off from outside because I don't like the idea of the headlights coming on when it goes forwards and the tail lights when it goes backwards because that's just not right they should be on all the time so that's it that's as far as I'm going to go I don't think you need to see me solder a couple of extra plugs on so I can plug in the headlights uh, and you've seen the flashing LEDs underneath already so that's it I think that's as far as I'm going to go where I ran the wires round for the indicator lights I've actually left a coil just here on both sides so that I could add the repeater indicator lights on the side here just for completion I might get round to that one day but not at the moment I think that's enough job done I just remembered one little extra I was going to show you I made up that circuit from individual components uh, a couple of transistors couple couple of capacitors, few resistors and diodes and so on. And then I saw these in the shop. They're Halloween rings. Press the button 
and they flash. So if you were really lazy or didn't want to buy the individual components, you could buy something like this. It only cost me a pound. And I'll take them one apart. So the black bit is the batteries. The LEDs are tiny. That's actually three LEDs there. I suppose I ought to do a close-up really. But that's them. I'll just go into close-up mode. Right, there we go. So that's your LEDs there, three of them. Little surface mount ones, tiny. And we've got a ordinary on-off switch there. circuitry is in that little white blob just there. So you could intercept the on-off switch, mount that somewhere on the car and make it so that's operated by the steering. You probably still need to rig up some sort of electronic version. And you could intercept the LED wires and wire them out to bigger LEDs. But just thought I'd show that. That's the sort of technology you can get nowadays. And just hack it and reuse it. Just realised I didn't do the diagram. <laughs> That's what I used. Um, I'll put a link to where I got that one from. It's a fairly common diagram in most electrical circuits and in the original it had flashing LEDs on either side of it so you had alternative flashing whereas I modified it so that both LEDs are on one side in other words I just took that one away, left the resistor there took that one out and paralleled them up on that side so that's what we've got that's the diagram. Two circuits like that. A1, A1 are both the same place and they're both positive. B1, 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 B1 are all negative or earth two circuits that you want to work alternatively depending on which way the steering motor is turning. So what we've got is two pairs of diodes facing opposite directions. A1 and A2 are for the two different circuits. So A1 will be positive and B1 will be negative feeding this circuit and then the duplicate circuit for the other indicator will be A2 and B2. That's the only way I can sort of explain what I've done because the radio receiver sends positive and negative to make the steering motor turn one way and then negative and positive to make it turn the other way. So you want to convert that so that it only goes positive, positive and negative to one of your circuits when it's going one way and positive and negative to the other circuit when it's going the other way. That probably made no sense at all. But I'll scan it in and I've, I've drawn it as if you were looking at the top of the transistors and they're 3906 transistors. The capacitors, I'm not sure what value I actually used. On the original diagram it said 22, is that microfarads? Um, I just used whatever made them flash at the right rate. I'll scan that in now and add it to the end of the video.